Hieronymus Bosch. He is perhaps the greatest painter of fantasy who ever lived. Even his name conjures up all sorts of fantastic images, doesn't it? Hieronymus Bosch. In Bosch's haunted world, the borderlines between hallucination and reality seem to disappear. His paintings are crowded with hellish inventions, tortured humans, flying fishes, creatures and demons of every sort. And yet, there is also an astounding, surreal beauty in them. Strange giant fruits, frolicking people, playful architecture, and grand, harmonious colors. The ambiguous, puzzling symbols which fill his work spring from a limitless power of fantasy. But what was this man really thinking? Until recently, little was known about the artist's life that would help shed light on the issue. But last year, in an obscure library in Holland, a remarkable discovery was made. It was a diary written by Anna van Meer, who would later become his wife. Her diary paints a revealing picture of this colorful figure in medieval art. I would like to tell her story to you now. Imagine, if you will, the steps of the great cathedral of St. John's in the city of Den Bosch. Now, picture a young artist, a distracted fellow. Madam, let me help you. Oh, you're very kind, Hieronymus. Not at all, Mrs. Beck. Ah! With a too large imagination. Who the young ladies fancy? Good morning, Hieronymus. Oh. Good morning, ladies. And the children love to tease. Come meet Hieronymus Bosch. Come meet Hieronymus Bosch with his head in the clouds. Dear Hieronymus Bosch, take notice, keep Hieronymus. Mr. Van Meer. It's nice to see you. How is the new painting coming? Oh, splendidly. I am pleased with its progress. Father, won't you introduce me? Oh, yes. Hieronymus, this is my daughter, Anna. Anna, this is Hieronymus Bosch, the artist I was telling you about. 
The Brotherhood has commissioned him to paint a new altarpiece. I am pleased to meet you, Mr. Bosch. My father speaks very highly of you. Indeed I do. It's true. His head is often in the clouds. But that goes with the territory. Isn't that so, Hieronymus? It's where I gather ideas for my paintings. <laughs> of course it is. What a colorful world he creates for us with the skillful stroke of his magic brush, Hieronymus. And fantasy reigns a feast for the mind in this land of paint and turpentine, Hieronymus. I saw his arch just the other day, and I think it's smart for thought and play, Hieronymus. I hear songs wonderful. I hear songs wonderful. A man I can admire. A man I'd like to know. He is so polite and single and young. All the girls were like this handsome one. Why, with all this talk, you both make me blush, though I wish you would stop. I'm in no rush. Myself, myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bosch. Uh, please, Hieronymus. Hieronymus, it seems you have quite a few admirers. <clears throat> Thank you, Anna. I am grateful to be appreciated. I try not to get a big head about it. Let me tell you, I am blessed to have a patron such as your father. I never would have received the commission for the new altarpiece without his advocacy. Well, not to mention his money. <laughs> father is very taken with your work. Say, Hieronymus, the Brotherhood expects me to look in on you now and then see the progress of their painting. How about Anna and I visit your studio this afternoon? Is that possible? Why, certainly. Father, I'm going to the Spring Festival. Ah, uh, yes, the festival. Perhaps later in the day? Would that work? Yes, I look forward to it. Now remind me how to find your studio. Oh, well, Mr. Van Meer, you simply take the- Anna! Oh, good morning, Erasmus. I saw you talking with that artist. Yes, Father and I are going to visit him today. I think that you should stay away from him. You should think for yourself and not for me. Anna, he is a disturbed man. Have you not seen his paintings? Clearly they are the work of a dark and demonic mind. They are... Then I'd like to judge that for myself, if you please. I heard you were going to the Spring Festival. Maybe you and I Yes, could... I'm going with friends. Ah. Well, uh, perhaps we'll see each other there. Perhaps. Anna, good luck. Hieronymus's place is right down by the festival, near the fountain. I shall meet you there later this afternoon. Then we will visit the studio together. Not now, Erasmus. Some other time, Erasmus. I'm going with friends, Erasmus. Is there something disagreeable about me? I can't think what. I've twice the brains of Mr. Bosch and better looks, too. 
Oh, but he makes those curious paintings that just beg for attention. Oh, look at me. I'm different. I'm unique. The glamour of the artist. Well, I'm not impressed, and I'm not so gullible as the others. As for Mr. Bosch, you stay away from Anna. I intend to make her mine, somehow. We are the happy and carefree, at least we are in theory. Most of us have a clear motive that makes us locomotive. So if you'd like to follow, join in and let your feet go. Yep. Buy your partner. Step lively now. Back to center. Skipping's a skill for the cheery, so if you're rather weary, you may need a little instruction. It's not a big production. Just move the way we show ya, everything below the shoulder. Hip! Hip! Lift your feet. On your toes. Now that you're cheery and festive, you may desire a restive. Fellow, I wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't you be surprised if your legs went on without you? The thigh, the knee, the right shoe. Hip. Turn. Lady center. Clap. Nicholas was smiling at Katrina during the dance. Ooh, Katrina. He did not. <laughs> Don't be bashful. You know you like him. He dances funny, though. It's embarrassing. Well, I met a most interesting man this morning. Really? Who? His name is Hieronymus Bosch. He's an artist. An mm. artist? How fascinating. Maybe he'll ask you to pose. Without any clothes. Well, stop <laughs> it, Rachel. Father and I are going to visit him as soon as he arrives. Miss? Did you say you're going to visit Mr. Bosch? And what is it to you, young man? Just a friendly warning. I live around here and I'm telling you, do not want to visit Mr. Bosch. That's his house over there with the strange gargoyles on the door. Once people go there, they're never heard from again. <laughs> never heard from again? You can't believe what you're saying. I do believe it, miss. I do. He's an evil man and he keeps evil company. And they're very fond of pretty ladies like yourself. If you go there, something terrible will happen to you. I just know it. You'll be eaten up. And what makes you think so? Because we know what's in there. There are devils and monsters and ghosts and ghouls, dragons and boogeymen, it's worse than school. I thought I was dreaming, but he saw them too. You better run away. It's the smart thing to do. I can't believe I'm even listening to this. It's all true, <laughs> miss. He wouldn't lie. Just look at his angelic face. He's just like a choir boy in church. And he says his prayers every night. I think he needs to go to confession. You're right, miss. And I'll tell them everything. How the shutters are locked every night. How red smoke and sulfur oozes underneath the doors. How we are screaming till all hours. But most of all, how there are devils and monsters and ghosts and ghouls, dragons and boogeymen. It's worse than school. Oh my! I thought I was dreaming, but he saw them too. You better run away. 
It's the smart thing to do. Why? Jacob and Willie Grimm, if your mother knew you were telling such stories, she'd whip you both good. Your story is so fantastic, I don't believe a word of it. Fine, miss, but don't say we didn't warn you. Hey, Willie, I'll race to that wall. Gee, they had me all a shiver. Oh, Katrina, really now? My heart is thumping. You have to admit, sometimes even the wildest stories have a bit of truth in them. The boys must have seen something to spark their imaginations in that way. They were just being boys. They were teasing us. I suppose. Oh, Father, over here. <laughs> there you are. Good day, girls. Good, Good day, day, Mr. Van Meer. Can I pull you away from the fun, Anna? Yes, Father. Mr. Bosch's studio is right over there. I already know. Good, then shall we? Watch out for monsters, Anna. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. Father will protect me. From what, Anna? Nothing, Father. They're just having fun. I've never seen an artist's studio before. Then it will be an interesting experience for you. My dear, you fainted. Oh my, I'm sorry, how embarrassing. I thought I saw some strange creatures. Oh. It was my imagination, I'm sure. The boys outside were telling scary stories. Imagination is a good thing, but not when it leads to fainting. You are a delicate and sensitive woman, I can see that. Uh, uh, rats. Yeah, we have rats in the kitchen. Big ones! Big ones! They are hard to get rid of. I see. So these are the famous paintings. Fine work, Hieronymus. I've never seen anything like it. I wish I could paint like that. Have you ever tried to paint? No. Perhaps if I had a teacher, I would... Uh, I would be try. pleased to give lessons to you. You would? However do you think of these things? It's rather easy, really. Close your eyes, it's no surprise. You can do it with imagination. If you wish to fly a fish, you can do it with imagination. A little red goes there, a shirt for him to wear, then it will be just right next. We need a giant bear, no problem, there's one there. My, this is easy, it's enough to please me for now. Just look at the artistry. He's made a strawberry tree, and a pot with legs, and a purple bee. <laughs> It's absolutely marvelous, astounding, fabulous. Wait, the sky is rather dark. I'll add a lightning spark. Then it will be just right next. An eggshell for a house, a herd of purple cows. My, this is easy. It's enough to please me for now. Oh, Father, did you see this one? A princess in a giant sun. But everyone is running from the wicked skeleton. <laughs> it's absolutely drastic. <laughs> Humorous. Yes. Fantastic. Wait! It needs a tree of glass, a bit of silver grass. Then it will be just right. Or how about a knight whose trousers are too tight? <laughs> My, this is easy. It's enough to please me for now. Close your eyes, it's no surprise. You can do it with imagination. If you wish to fly a fish, you can do it with imagination. I say, what do you think, Mr. Van Meer? Yes, you've been rather quiet, Father. Let me see. How can I put it into words? It's, it's rather, no, that's not it. Well, it's, uh, well, what can I say that I haven't said already? Father, you haven't said anything already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm just in awe of the new painting. It's far more than I was expecting. Such glorious detail. I couldn't tell myself. Of course, I don't pretend to understand a bit of it. I'll report the progress you have made to the Brotherhood. Oh, and could you also ask them to <clears throat> hasten their payments to me? They are several months behind. Oh, I do apologize. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Well, we don't want to take up any more of your valuable time. Thank you for the tour, Hieronymus. Shall we go, Anna? Yes. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again. Yes, Anna. Perhaps for those painting lessons? Oh, yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Better do something about those rats. Nasty animals they are, nasty. I will. Thank you, Mr. Van Meer. Why do we have to hide? Well, Sophie, some people are afraid of the things they don't understand. You saw how Anna fainted. You don't wish to frighten her, do you? No. Well, I'd like to know what we're going to do about the rats in the kitchen. <laughs> what rats? <laughs> no, Otto, you misunderstood. <laughs> I was covering up for all the noise you two were making. I just pretended there were rats. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> Why, Gregor, you were shaking. I'm afraid of rats. You know, Gregor, I heard the rats are all afraid of you. Really? <laughs> there aren't any rats. Not <laughs> anymore, Otto. And stop pushing me. I didn't. And besides, you deserved it. You are missing a few marbles, you know. <laughs> a lot you know. I never had any marbles. <laughs> Otto and Gregor, the two of you need to learn some manners. Honestly, sometimes you behave like little children. Did you find some marbles, Otto? Would you like to go look for some? Why not? Oh, let's try under the stove. I find all kinds of neat things there. Say, why are you afraid of rats anyway? Well, I was told they carry germs. <laughs> That's nonsense! Where would they put them? They haven't any pockets, have they? No. <laughs> Well, you mustn't believe anything you're told without running it through me first. Oh. You like Anna, don't you? Why, yes, Sophie. I do. <laughs> I really enjoyed her visit. Anna is very intelligent and curious. Did you see how she studied my work so carefully? Uh -uh. Yes, I saw you peeking, Sophie. <laughs> Anna noticed every detail. It made me feel proud inside. It was as though the painting spoke to her, yet, yet it was me that was speaking. Something I don't do very well with words. But I certainly talk a lot with my brush, <laughs> don't I? Standing here before my painting now, I'm trying to imagine what might have gone through her mind as she gazed at me. Who is this crazy artist to make such a thing? <laughs> Birds, fountains, pools, fruits, cakes, Mermaids fish too. This is my garden of delights. It's a place I think she'll like, a place I'd gladly take her to. It has its dangers, it's true. Creatures that wait in the darkness for you. Temptation <laughs> around every turn. But it's only fantasy, don't be concerned. My, my. Has a week gone by already? Otto will be arriving soon for her painting lesson. You better go hide, Sophie. Aww. Go on, go on. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. It was so kind of you to offer me lessons. Oh, it's my pleasure. I can't wait to try my hand at it. Then we shall begin straight away. Please, have a seat. And here is a brush for you. Thank you. Red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, and violet, too. 
These are the colors of the soul. It's a language that I know will bring you pleasure through the years. You have every reason to be confident, certain it's my guarantee. I have every reason to know with patience and practice your talents will grow. Now smooth it out. Like this? That's right. Now keep blending. Over here, too. Ah. Ooh. It's coming to life, isn't it? Right before my eyes. Oh, I missed a spot. How's that? Excellent. Why, you're a natural born artist. Do you think? Certainly. Just look at how fast you learn. You'd better watch out. One day, I might be your competitor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just have to deal with that when the time comes. Though I don't view art as a competition. Red, yellow, green, blue, pink, white, and violet, too. These are the colors of the song. It's a language that I know will bring me pleasure through the years. I have every reason to be confident, certain it's my guarantee. I have every reason to know with patience and practice your talents will grow. Let the meeting come to order. Brother DeWitt, will you read the minutes from our last gathering? Oh, certainly, Brother Beck. April 9th, 1475, we open with a discussion of the upcoming play, The Temptation of St. Anthony, was chosen as this year's topic. Brother DeWitt, that's me, agreed to coordinate and direct the play. Next, we finalized preparations for our annual banquet of the swan, and of course, we prayed for good weather. Yeah. Hey, here, here. Brother Van Meer was selected to inspect the progress of the new altar priest commission from Hieronymus Bosch for the Brothers Chapel at St. John's. Finally, we agreed to donate 10 guilders to the widow Terwilliger, who left her dead husband sitting on a bench in Bleecker Cemetery. Uh, Sister Bachman, did you ensure she used that money for the burial and not for another keg of whiskey? <laughs> I did. Very good. <laughs> now, may we have the treasurer's report? Oh. I am pleased to announce that last month's banquet was a huge success, netting 250 guilders for our treasury. Very good. <laughs> we are at last free of debt, and we now have 70 guilders remaining. <laughs> Excellent. I can finally breathe again. <laughs> Just a moment, sister, about our debt. I did visit Hieronymus Bosch, and he informed me that he was owed several months back payment for the new painting. Sister, why has he not been paid? If I may, I believe we are waiting to confirm that progress is being made on the painting. Brother Van Meer, have you inspected the artwork? Yes. It was quite astonishing, really. I think Hieronymus put in far more effort and detail than we would have expected for the price. I shall be anxious to view it. Sir! Yes, I have not forgotten about you. It's about the painting, isn't it? Everyone, this is Erasmus. He wishes to speak concerning the painting. Gentlemen, I come before you on a matter of grave urgency concerning Hieronymus Bosch, the painter that you have selected to paint the new altarpiece. I beg of you to find another artist. Brothers, this is not a man whom you should patronize. His work instigates sin and heresy against the church. His painting will bring shame and embarrassment to all of you. Why, have you not seen the wicked images that he paints? It's blasphemous. He's a clever one, he's got you Listen carefully before you rule. He paints symbols no one ever knows. That way no one ever can oppose. 
Hide his true thoughts in his pictures To hell with power, to hell with riches The devil has his way with witches You should give it serious thought, my friends Think on it, my friends You base your opinion solely on the images in his paintings. I believe he's just painting man the way he sees it, but damn it, that doesn't mean he agrees with any of it. That's right. How else can you discuss sin in a painting without picturing it? Father Albert describes sin in his sermons, and he's not a sinner. Ah, but consider this. How can Hieronymus paint the sins in such detail without intimate knowledge of them? Bosch has got to answer to the law. No! He'd be better giving him the sword. No! Men like that deserve the brother's aid. No! We have simply no more time to wait. No! Give us justice, give us forethought. Do what's right and do what you ought. Send in your men, see that he's caught. You should act swiftly on this, my friend. Act on it, my friends, swiftly. I don't know what you think we do around here, but we're not in the business of rounding up heretics. Right, and as right. with painting, it is far too easy to speculate on their symbolism. The paintings lend themselves to all different interpretations. The Brotherhood investigated Mr. Bosch's work before we hired him, and I believe we were all enthusiastic. And furthermore, it is not your business what we do with our money! Right, right. Listen, I'm a concerned no. citizen. He rats this you seem bent on getting him. It's a matter concerning everyone. Oh. Of you, that's really rather thick. If you just look at the paintings, I see nothing in your case with merit. It's, it's too close. Maybe you should counsel with the cleric. Oh, dear you. You need proof and you need witness. You need ways to judge his fitness. This is nothing we're equipped for. Go away and close the door. My friend, come no more, my friend. Close, close the, the door! door! You don't understand me. I'll speak more slowly. The matter is settled. You won't even look into it. The matter is settled. I'm sorry. Very well. I'll go. I've done my duty. Let the rest be in your hands. But I leave you with this. If I find the paintings offensive, there are bound to be others who will also. Can the Brotherhood take that risk? Tuh. Such an insolent fellow. I hate to say it, but there is logic in his last statement. He is an extremist. Maybe so. But there are bound to be others who will be offended. We must be mindful of our reputation. Let's not be spineless, though. Brother Van Meer, when you inspected the artwork, did you notice anything that might cause embarrassment? Why do you hesitate? There was much in it I didn't understand. It was very fanciful. That's what we liked about his work. Right. Yes, but if there are hidden messages... Uh, before we overreact, shouldn't we allow Hieronymus to defend himself? That would here, be the here. most sensible course. Very well. We shall have Mr. Bosch attend our next meeting and defend his images. I'll dispatch a letter to him. And let us not make payments until we are certain the painting is acceptable. Very well. Payments will be withheld. Excuse me, I... Excuse me. Are you not friends with Anna Van Meer? Yes. I thought so. I remembered seeing you two together. You and that other girl. Hmm, what was her name? Hmm, let's see. Rachel? That's it, Rachel. My mind was drawing a complete blank. Well, now that the news is out about Hieronymus Bosch, I'm sure you'll want Anna to stay far away from him. <laughs> Well, what do you mean? Oh, you haven't heard. It's all over town. Hieronymus Bosch is accused of heresy. Heresy? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Van Meer wouldn't want Anna anywhere near him. I'm just afraid she might get a whipping, poor girl. <laughs> Please, sir, my mother is waiting for me. Oh, yes. I didn't mean to detain you. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Oh!
Erasmus was quite determined to discredit Hieronymus Bosch. He succeeded in planting the seed of doubt among the brothers, and then he went about town, spreading rumors to all who would listen. Anna would hear none of it. By now, she was quite smitten with Hieronymus, and the painting lessons provided an excuse for them to explore their mutual attraction. They were courting and falling in love. But whenever Anna visited the studio, Hieronymus made certain his creatures were out of view, and it became more and more difficult for him to tell her of their existence. Surely a deception such as this could not last forever. And indeed, the day soon came when their relationship was put to the test. Father, look, I finished my first painting. Good job. Is that our house you painted? Can't you tell? Of course I can, <laughs> though I don't recall having red tulips in our yard. Oh, I added those. It's all right to change things when you're an artist, Father. You've used your imagination, just like Hieronymus. I want to show him. What? Now, will you be home for supper? <laughs> ah, young love. Remember, Postalina, how we doted on one another? Master, this letter came for you. It's from the Brotherhood. Not now, Fritzy. They said it was important. Not now, Fritzy. Can't you see I'm busy? Leave it on the table. I'll get to it later. I feel an inspiration coming on. Yes, yes, yes! I've got it. I know exactly what this painting needs. A blizzard. Miles and piles of swirling snow. Quick, hand me my palette and my brush and keep the white paint flowing. Oh, yes, 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 stand back, I'm going in. This is going to be a nasty one. Look at him go! He's painting up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Snowflakes. In the middle of summer? How peculiar. I wish now that I had my coat. Oh my, the sky is getting darker and darker. The storm, which Anna was caught out in, quickly increased in its ferocity. Snow accumulated at a rapid pace. The trek was becoming difficult and tiresome, though Anna struggled along with great courage. Powerful gusts of swirling snow whipped her about. Visibility was poor, and soon, disoriented and drained of energy, Anna stopped. But in the quiet fury, almost miraculously, she perceived the smell of a wood fire, and on turning herself round, she spied Hieronymus's house just ahead. I don't know where I am anymore. I've lost my way. Oh, there it is. My painting. it has ended uh, as quickly as it began. Why, I've run out of white paint. I need more white paint. What have my lazy apprentices been doing all this while? Nothing. <laughs> Perhaps that is the problem. Now grind me up some more lead white and don't make it so runny this time. Call me when it's ready. Yes, sir. Don't make it so runny this time. You did say keep the paint flowing, you daft man. Grind and stir and call him, sir. Got to get it right, cause he's an artiste. Bring to boil the linseed oil. Got to get it right, cause he's an artiste. Help me, Fritzy. Come look, Nicole. See what the master has done now. Oh my, there must be five feet of snow out there. Boy, boy, boy. Nothing we can do about it now. I could hide his paints. At least the storm wouldn't get any worse. You don't value your job very much, do you? I just don't want to be stuck here. We'll have to sleep in the attic with all the creatures he hides. Yeah, what do you make of that there? Did I still hides his creatures from his love, Anna. What way is that for a man to behave? 
He's afraid, I tell you, of her finding out, and it ain't gonna be a pretty picture when she finds out about him. He's headed straight for trouble. Hieronymus, our master, is headed for disaster. What honor finds, I think she'll mind and curse him ever after. He's gotten rather bold now, if truth be clearly told now. Deceive the bride and pay the price a hundred thousand fold now. His wife found out and kicked him out, and now he's got no future. And then there was the weaver who told his girl he'd leave her. A big mistake for him to make. She chased him with a cleaver. I remember that. Hold on to your head. And did you Ouch. know the cleric who went a bit hysteric? He slighted this his Beatrice, and now he's atmospheric. Our master is headed for disaster. What Anna finds, I think she'll mind and curse him ever after. I say, what is this racket all about? <laughs> she'll curse him ever after. She'll curse him ever after. <laughs> did, did you hear something? Came from the door. Won't you go look? Fine. Uh, Master, you'd better come. What is it? What the devil? Snow in July. <laughs> Anna, please help me. Are you all right, my dear? Um, uh, exhausted. <laughs> The, the, the snow. You're, you're all cold. Why did you go out in it? I d didn't. It. Creatures! <laughs> Don't be such a sissy, Otto. But look who's talking. Uh, Anna, you're hurting me. It seems as though Erasmus was right about you all along. Uh, I've got to go. No, wait. You can't go out there. Look. It will be days before we shovel out. I'm afraid you'll have to stay. I'm afraid, too. I don't understand this. Don't cry. I don't want you to go. I've wanted to meet you for a long time. You don't look like a frightening demon to me. What sort of creature are you? I'm Sophie. I'm a red giggleberry. <laughs> what sort of berry? I'm sorry, Sophie. I didn't mean to make fun. That's all right. <clears throat> These are my friends, Otto and Gregor. Pleased to meet you. Uh, not you. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is all mine, I'm sure. You've been eating sticky buns. <laughs> I can tell. And that's not all. You should have seen him earlier in the kitchen. He was eating everything he could find. <laughs> he almost bit my hand off. It was wrapped around a muffin. That's because I was trying to eat the muffin, Otto. My aren't you making a good first impression? <laughs> Your hair is so beautiful. Like silk it is. Oh, I must look like a fright after that storm. <laughs> oh, that's why I screamed. <laughs> How do you make your lips so red? Now, Sophie, let's not trouble Anna with any more questions. Why have you kept them hidden from me? I did not want to. But on your first visit here, you caught a glimpse and fainted. Do you remember? Well, how does one explain them exactly? I was afraid you wouldn't understand. I don't understand. Where did they come from? They were born from my imagination. <laughs> Your imagination? It's one thing to put one's imagination in a book or a picture. But this is something more than that. I'm not a fool. Where do they come from? It's difficult to say. You live it, breathe it, and sink deeper and deeper into the world you've created. Soon it takes on a life of its own. It becomes real. May I show you? 
They do look real. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. All right, Anna. I shall. Now, you must relax, Anna. Let go of all your worldly cares. Just swoosh them away. Just do as you do when you're drifting off to sleep, on your way to dreamland. Do not think of things as they are, but rather as you wish them to be. Close your eyes, it's no surprise. You can do it with imagination. If you wish to fly a fish, you can do it with imagination. Now, let me get this straight. You advise, I close my eyes. I can do it with imagination. If I care to fly a hare, I can do it with imagination. Right. The chairs have had a fight. The mouse has shown his might. Can you envision it? I see a giant peach. The moon is within reach. Why, this is easy. It's enough to please me. Or not. Close your eyes. It's no surprise. You can do it with imagination. If you want to treasure hunt, you can do it with imagination. A castle made of gold, a jewel that's centuries old, here on a map so clear. A kingdom of my own, a ruby studded throne. Why, this is easy, it's enough to please me. Isn't this fun? It certainly is. But we're getting rather high up, don't you think? Why, Anna, you truly are imagining. Am I? I am! It's so simple to do. <laughs> do you see that? What is it? It looks like a three-sided, double-toed cloud hopper. <laughs> and that? Uh, the same thing, only backwards. You mean a hopper, cloud, toad, double-sided? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> now you do a verse or two. All right, here it goes. Close your eyes, it's no surprise. You can do it with imagination. If I try a giant pie, I can do it with imagination. A pear that grows as tall, a plum to be small, is the ingredient. Enough to feed the town, so high I can't get down. My, this is easy, it's enough to please me for now. Close your eyes, it's no surprise. You can do it with imagination. If you call to get real small, you can do it with imagination. You climb up on a plant, you're visited by ants. That's just the start of it. I climb across a shoe, and that's where I find you. Why, this is easy, it's enough to please me or not. <laughs> Hieronymus, <laughs> <laughs> do you swear your creatures are harmless? I swear. Then perhaps they aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Anna, I can't tell you how relieved I am to hear you say that. Now I may be at ease. At last, I found someone who understands me. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but we'll certainly work at it. But my, they look so real. <laughs> my, the moonlight looks so beautiful over the new fallen snow. You look beautiful in the moonlight, Anna. I have a gift for you. Perhaps it will bring you some comfort. A music box. 
put a lovely little dancer on top. Will you wind it for me? Yes, Anna. I'd be glad to. with me I dream of things to be I feel a rush of inspiration what can these feelings mean like butterflies in spring a fluttering of silken wings <laughs> now hold my hand I'm going to bed. All right, Anna. Good night. It's just my imagination. Just my imagination. Not 
verse. the strangest dream last night. I dreamt that I was at Hieronymus's house and there were all these strange creatures there. <laughs> oh my! I wasn't dreaming, was I? <laughs> well, I'm still alive anyway. No monsters have eaten me up. Not even you. Weren't you even tempted? Huh? To eat me? No! Oh, now, don't be so indignant. You know, you are very cute for a monster. Really? Oh, yes. Now, let's open the shades. Things are only as dark as you let them be. Storm clouds may come, bold black with their thunder and rain. I'm not concerned. Until it clears again. Yo, -ho, the sun comes out, the sky turns blue. This much is true. But if I may suggest the rest, my dear, is up to you. My Hieronymus is rather clever, don't you think? I don't know what such a sophisticated gentleman like that sees in me. <laughs> Well, he's a dream anyway. Who do you dream about, Sophie? I don't know. Do you dream about Otto and Gregor over here? Huh? Ew! <laughs> they are handsome fellas, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Uh, it's nice to hear you singing. You're in a good mood then. Oh, yes. What with all this pleasant company. Otto and Gregor were just about to make the bed for me, weren't you? <laughs> Anna, I'm so pleased you've accepted my creatures so graciously. Just look at you all singing and working together like one big happy family. But <clears throat> you haven't met all my creatures. There are more? Why am I not surprised? Yes, and next Sunday you'll have the chance to meet them all. I'm hosting our traditional Yellow Spotted Rabbit's Day party. In fact, I could really use your help putting it on. What day did you say it was? Yellow Spotted Rabbit's Day? <laughs> I've never heard of that holiday before. Well, I invented it only days ago, but I've been observing it ever since. I see. Yes, I'll come and help. Might as well get it over with. Yes, you might as well. So, how many creatures do you expect? Oh, quite a few, I imagine. There'll be the Colonel Did and... Did you the hear that, Otto? We're going to have a party! What makes you think you're going to be invited? What do you mean? 
Why wouldn't I be invited? Why did you say that? Oh, I don't mean a thing. I'm just simply remarking that perhaps you won't be invited. Uh, perhaps you ought not get so excited until you know for certain. But I live here. They have to invite me. Of course. Well, no. There are things they could do. Like what? Uh, I don't know. They, um... They, they could send you on an errand that day. Yes, that'll do it. An errand? What sort of errand? Uh, I know. They could make you count the pebbles on the road to Aris. But I can only count to 12. <gasps> That's a lie. Aren't you forgetting your toes? I can count to 23. <laughs> That's settled then. <laughs> Otto, why do you tease Gregor like that? Oh! <laughs> there you see, he enjoys being teased. There's so many fearsome creatures here. <laughs> Was that meant to frighten us? Do you honestly believe you can frighten anyone? I might. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Yes, I did. Once. And I'll have you know that I was scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You can be very proud of yourself. At least someone is frightened of you. That's right. Wait a minute. I'll be frightened of you, Gregor, if you like. Da! What is it? You find a mirror? No! Oh! Oh, now who is that? Ah! Erasmus! Oh, well, as long as you know him. Well then, Hieronymus, are there any yellow spider rabbits in attendance tonight? But of course, my friend, in the stew! Ah, but of course! <laughs> Hieronymus! Oh, Anna, come meet the Colonel. Relax, you look all tense. This is my Anna, Colonel. Splendid! Oh, what a fine young lady you found for yourself. Hieronymus, I... Hey, young lady, if you want to leave this fellow, I'm available. Thank you, Colonel, but I think I'll keep him. For now. Hieronymus! Not now, Anna. This isn't the place. She's very affectionate. She seems entirely at ease with us. Anna's taken very well to all my creatures. I was fearful at first. More mutton! Anna, we need more mutton. Would you be a lamb? Hieronymus, you haven't lifted a finger to help this entire evening. How can you say that? When then? <gasps> oh! <clears throat> Why is it suddenly so quiet? Uh, musicians, please, another song? How about a three-step? Creatures enjoy a party. Creatures enjoy a waltz. I like to watch as they one, two, three, one, two, three, all round the dance. Creatures enjoy a good meal. Creatures enjoy a drink. I like to watch as they munch, 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 crunch, 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 crunch all around the table. But if you notice them quiet for a while, someone should talk to them, someone should smile. I volunteer, but I haven't the courage. I'm kind of a coward. I could not allow it. Oh, no! Ooh. Creatures enjoy their gossip. Creatures enjoy their talk. I like to watch as they buzz, 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 yak, 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 one, two, one, nine. Creatures enjoy a good jest. Creatures enjoy a joke. I like to watch as they ha 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 into the morning. 
But if you notice them quiet for a while, someone should talk to them, someone should smile. I'd volunteer, but I haven't the courage. I'm kind of a coward. I could not allow it. Oh, no! Oh, Reapers enjoy a party. Creatures enjoy a waltz. I like to watch as they one, two, three, one, two, three, all around the dance floor. <gasps> Wonderful! A splendid pie, Hieronymus! <laughs> well, there's nothing like cheery dancing to liven up a place. I say, is there any more wine? And pudding! Anna, we need more wine! Anna, we need more pudding! Anna? Anna! Now, where's she run off to? The sausages need warming. I'll tell you what. You take these into the kitchen and ask Anna to put them in the oven for you. Then send her out here. Can you do that? Ah, she's a cute one. Sort of a mix of our uh, orange wobby and a black cow, I should say. <laughs> yes, you're exactly right. <sighs> Anna, we need more. Gee, Anna, you look kind of sore. I was just saying we need more wine. And pudding! <gasps> <gasps> What about my needs? What about my wants? What about, what about, what about me? Don't I have feelings? Aren't I appealing? What about, what about, what about me? For my life I have waited to love someone. When I do, I feel I'm not your only one. Then you treat me like I'm just your serving girl. Wouldn't it be better if I hadn't ever come? Not to deny it or justify it. What about, what about, what about me? I'm just an artist. I'm not the smartest. What about, what about, what about me? Love me dearly and love me with all your heart. Love completely, I'm begging before. Part. You're not thinking it's all sugar and spice. There'll be times when we both sacrifice. Never say never. And we'll be together forever and ever and on. But it's not that simple, is it, Anna? What do you mean? I mean... What about Sophie? What about Otto? What about, what about, what about my creatures? They too need loving, plenty of cuddling. What about, what about, what about them? All I want is a home and a family. I'm not certain you're in the same world as me. Not to tell you the way you should be. Or to question what I think is real. That's the wrong answer. That's not what I'm after. I've tried, but I can't find a way. Hieronymus, perhaps I made a mistake falling in love with you. I never imagined I would have to live like this. What kind of life would we have when we marry? Is a house full of creatures a safe environment to bring a family up in? How would our children explain it to their friends? I can't take any more of your imagination. It's too large. Anna, what do you want me to say? If you love me, I'm asking you to show it. Say you'll paint some ordinary things for a while. Landscapes, still lives, ordinary people. Then perhaps this household will become a calmer, saner, more livable place. Make this a real home. And if your paintings are going to come to life, paint me a nice sofa with colorful fabric to put over there. And a nice candelabra made of polished brass to put on the table. Once again. Pay me a decent oven for the kitchen. One that doesn't spit and smoke. Will you do that for me? You want me to paint 
ordinary things? Yes, wonderful ordinary things. But sofas and ovens, Anna? No more armored poodles or two-legged strudels or, or berry-headed boys? No, no more. No more, no more dangerous daisies or, or ugly paisleys or, or man-eating toys? I'd prefer you didn't. What about musical skeletons? No! Cute little three-headed pelicans? Hieronymus, you live so much in your imagination that little else seems to matter to you. You can't just live your life in a shell while you barely ever leave the house. Because everything I need is right here. And what if I go? Why would you do that? Do you imagine I enjoy the company of these things? You must think I'm mad. No, Hieronymus. But you are quite overly obsessed with your creatures and your fantasies, and that can't be good for you. I'm asking you to change, for your own benefit. Of course, you do have a choice. I do? Yes. Me. Or them. All right, Anna. I'll try and act more normally. And you'll paint sensible things? Yes, Anna. For you. For us? Oh, now, don't you pout, Hieronymus. Tomorrow, I'll bring in some models to sit for you. And in the evening, we shall take a walk through the city. Like normal folk. Whatever you wish, Anna. Whatever you wish. So, what are we working on today, Master? We? A landscape. Well, it looks rather ordinary. When are you putting all the neat stuff in it? What neat stuff is that? You know, creatures, fire, weird plants. It needs another tree. Yes, a tree. An evil one with long purple spikes and razor-sharp leaves and little skeletons dangling from it. No, just an oak tree with green leaves. An oak tree? Yes, over here by the house. Of course, the house. I knew it. It will have a roof of cake to lure in the children, and around back will lurk a hungry monster with ten drooling mouths and hundreds of teeth and breath so foul even a skunk would be impressed. No, just a plain white house with shutters and a red clay roof. And who will live there? A family. Of course, the family. A father with two heads. A boy with the body of a fish, and a girl with hair so long, it will look like a bush. No, just a lovely family in their Sunday clothes. Fine. Well, you're the artist. The master seems a bit depressed today. I wonder what's wrong. I know. Oh! Go on, tell it. He and Anna had an altercation at the party. Huh? A, a controversy, a, a differing. Why are you talking like that? I am trying to improve myself. Well, don't. It's not working. Now speak plain Dutch. Oh, they had a spat. Oh. Yes, and it was ugly. She made him promise to only paint ordinary things, no more of his creatures. You don't say, hey, what's he got under there? I thought he was painting creatures on the sly. What a sneak. That's my master. I knew he wouldn't let me down. Hieronymus? <clears throat> Hieronymus! Oh, come on in, girls. Don't be shy. Hieronymus, your models are here. <laughs> 
What models? The ones I promised I would bring. Oh, yes. <laughs> Those. Oh, my gosh! Where did you find this pair? I thought you would prefer some models with character. <laughs> they, uh... They are characters, that is for certain. Well, we'll just have to <clears throat> deal with it. <laughs> now let's see what we can do with them. Okay, um, now you, okay, yeah, <laughs> you stand right there. Great, ah, there's another one! There's another one! Great! And you stand right there. Now, strike a pose. <laughs> Different pose. Oh my, we're going to need to do something about this. <laughs> Now, let me see. Mm -mm. No, yes. Uh, yes, perfect. Now, let's try this. And you hold that. One hand. Uh, no, that's not right. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Okay, now. Just to take this like you're eating the sticky bun. Perfect. Keep it on your head, please. And you just take that, uh, bend over like you're brushing the crumbs. But keep perfectly still. Still. Great. Oh, I'm gonna have bad dreams after this. Wait. I know just what this needs. Thank you. Anna, you object to even a little decorating? I do. Well, if I can't fix their costumes the way I like, I might as well paint them with nothing on at all. <laughs> no! Wait! Please stop! <laughs> I simply could not bear it! The two of you may go. I have all that I need. Please, hurry! Good. Hieronymus, you promised you would behave! Like your little boy? I didn't mean it that way. It's hopeless, Anna. I cannot paint ordinary things. I was foolish to try. I must be true to myself. I'm what I am, and that's enough for this man. I have to be respectful of myself. I have to be proud of what I am. Though some may take to molding well, like a lump of clay on a potter's wheel I'm a steady man with a steady point of view Ask me a thousand questions and I'll give you a thousand answers They'll be honest and they'll be true But if I cannot answer you I will not take a chance on you Deceit is not my style I'm what I am, I cannot change just like that. I have to be honest with myself. I have to be honest with my friends. I'm not a bag of tricks or gags, a magician playing a crowd of fools. I'm an upright man with an upright point of view. Ask me a thousand questions and I'll give you a thousand answers They'll be honest and they'll be true But if I cannot answer you, I will not take a chance on you Deceit is not my style I'm what I am, I have a purpose in this life I know I do I cannot change the course or path that I'm set traveling on. The stars up in the sky all shine with a light that's true and a light that's fine, cause they know their place and they're not about to change now. They know 
the place and they're not about to change now. Hieronymus, I am disappointed. You didn't give it a very hard try. I really believed I meant more to you than that. Obviously, I am not your first love. And under the circumstances, I think it'd be best we not see each other anymore. I'm sorry, but we're through. But Anna! Master, she might have liked the landscape. No matter. It wasn't turning out. <laughs> My creatures, where have you been hiding? They've only been out of your thoughts. Oh, we felt so sleepy this morning, we couldn't rouse ourselves for anything. That's right. And Otto was getting a little transparent. I could almost see right through him, like he was fading away. Not an easy thing for a creature so fat. <laughs> Why, I, Otto? Oh. This is our fault, isn't it? Why doesn't Anna like us? No, 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 no. I don't want to hear such talk. I don't want to hear such talk. I, 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 I. <laughs> I thought I was disappearing. <laughs> oh, you are certainly a darling little creature, but of course it's not your fault why Anna left us. It's his fault. I said it's his fault. Hello? Are you there? Are you listening to a word I say? I was just thinking about cheese. <laughs> you live in your own little world, don't you? Yes, I do. Then everyone there knows me. <laughs> what kind of cheese? Oh, it's not a What's the matter with you? This poor man's life has come crashing down. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's been dragged through the gutter. His heart has been ripped from his body. And you're over here thinking about cheese. Oh, it's clearer to me now more than ever why Anna left us. Why did she leave? Because of you. What? Oh, don't play the innocent with us. <laughs> no, I'm not. Otto. Well, just look at the guilty expression on his face. I'm growing a beard. <laughs> well, it makes you look absolutely sinister. Oh, what are you hiding? Nothing. Just don't look in the cupboard. <gasps> the cupboard! He's not so smart. I didn't hide anything in the cupboard. You found what? Sophie, Anna's leaving has nothing to do with any of you. Really, it's just me. I'm to blame. I'm too stubborn, too self-absorbed. I chased Anna away. Brothers, unite for decency and righteousness! <laughs> Erasmus, this is a private meeting. I invited him. For what purpose? He has new information about Hieronymus Bosch. I thought we had decided to settle the matter ourselves. Yes, we will discuss your indiscretion later, Brother Storm. Erasmus, haven't we been through all of this before? You can drop the charade. Even though you put me out last time, I know that you have been investigating Hieronymus Bosch. I also know that he has failed to appear before you to explain his symbolisms. What further proof of his guilt do you need than his unwillingness to cooperate? Yet, the situation continues to worsen, and I feel it my duty before God to inform of you. Of course. <laughs> Hieronymus Bosch, as I feared, goes far beyond his heresy against the church. It would seem Mr. Bosch practices black magic and sorcery. 
Last <laughs> night, I witnessed with my own eyes a sight most horrible. Bosch brought the creatures of his paintings to life, and they danced and reveled about his house until all hours of the night. Maybe if the Brotherhood had acted more swiftly when last I warned them, we could have saved Mr. Bosch's soul. <laughs> Did I hear you correctly? You said you saw creatures in his house. That's right. <laughs> you are a mad dear brother. <laughs> no one has ever accused me of that. I, I just... Oh, he sounds quite in earnest about this. Of course. He was drunk. <laughs> no. <laughs> because when I get drunk, I seem little green guys. <laughs> you see them too? Do yours have little antennas like this? Yeah. I was not drunk. <laughs> Do they bob back and forth when they walk and blink their big eyes? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Once I saw a goat with two heads and eight legs. When I got closer, it was merely two goats standing next to each other. <laughs> I remember seeing a big, frightening, round creature. Ooh. It had two human legs, and it was red with white spots all over it, like polka dots. It turned out to be my mother-in-law bent over to water her flowers. Of course, when she turned around and I saw who it was, I was doubly frightened. <laughs> Brothers, you mock me. I am not so stupid as this. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Van Meer, your daughter Anna was present at this mm. evil celebration. Surely you want to save her soul before it is damned to hell, along with Mr. Bosch's? You don't have to worry. Not that it's any of your business. But the courtship is over. It is. <laughs> it must have been the creatures. Oh, I should have given her more credit. She's an intelligent girl. I'll have to pay her a visit to console her. Does that mean we're through here? No. We may as well finish him off. What was that? I said... We may as well finish it, though I feel awful about it. it. May I? Please, Father Albert. Erasmus, the practice of sorcery is a matter that certainly I take seriously. If any members of my parish are involved in such things, I would do everything possible to counsel them directly in the right direction. But you certainly realize that we cannot act on mere accusation. And here. listen, son, you are not to spread rumors about that man. With all the witch phobia going around, things could really get out of hand. Yes, I remember when the town of Eris was seized by mass hysteria. Hundreds of innocent people yes, were publicly tortured and executed upon mere charges of witchcraft. Right. Terrible. Yes. Furthermore, Many are of the opinion that you have a personal grudge against Hieronymus Bosch. You seem bent on ruining his reputation. My intentions are honorable. Then if you are in earnest, you must make good your cause. But if you cannot offer us legitimate proof that Hieronymus Bosch is involved in sorcery, I suggest you not bother any of us again with this matter. Very well. You want proof? I'll bring it to you. I'll be back, and then you'll see I was right. Then you'll see I was right! Oh, dear. I'm afraid I didn't handle that very well. My, my, I'm quite concerned about that man. It's not your fault, Father. He is a twisted fellow, I am certain of it. There's no telling what he will do. There's a bitterness stirs in his soul. And the more he's discredited, the more tightly he clings to his obsession. He will not be content until he causes a good deal of trouble for everybody. He ought to just mind his own business, that's what I say. Here, here. here. Yes, but uh, if there are creatures, uh, let us not rush to judgment. Things that we don't understand are not necessarily bad. Father, you sound as though you believe in such things. Oh, well. <laughs> I have to live with all those gargoyles at the church. You know? <laughs> right, Father, the gargoyles. <laughs> Brothers, back to business. Because Hieronymus Bosch has dishonored us by failing to defend his painting, we must decide our course. Do we cancel the commission altogether, or do we give him a reprieve?
My Anna, I still can't believe you and Hieronymus have parted. You seem so perfect for each other. I'm still in shock myself. What happened? I left him. I felt too unimportant, too ignored. His work is such a large part of his life. Everything seems to revolve around him. Now, why do you look so gloomy, Katrina? Oh, it's nothing. Maybe we should tell her. Tell me what? Do you promise not to scold? I'll scold if you don't tell me. Well, it's just that we've heard some awful things about Hieronymus. Like what? <laughs> they say he practices black magic. Yeah, and that he can wave his brush over his paintings and make them come alive. Is that so? You've been listening to those boys again. No, it's not just the boys. No, it's all over town. It's gossip, pure and simple, that's all it is. And it's not fair. They don't understand. Hieronymus doesn't practice magic. It's not like that. He practices imagination. His creatures are harmless. <gasps> what? Creatures. Good day, girls. I thought I heard voices inside the house. Good day, Good day Mr. Mr. Van Meer. Have you heard about Anna and Hieronymus? Of course, Rachel. Anna told me this morning. It's a shame, really. I liked him. Your mother would have liked him, too. Anna, something's been bothering me. The reason you left Hieronymus, was it because, well, uh, Erasmus said... Erasmus? You must not believe a single thing he tells you. You didn't mention Hieronymus and I. Well, it did slip out. Father! He said he might visit. Ew. Shame on you, Mr. Oh. Van Meer. Rachel, show some respect. For my elders, I know. I'm sorry, my dear. Is there anything I can do? No, Father. I am leaving to visit the widow Bachman. If you care to come along, we can talk on the way. I'll be fine, Father. Very well. Anyway, I'm sure your friends will help you keep your mind off of things. Goodbye. I have to leave, too. My mother sent me out for water, and I never returned. She's going to be furious. And mine sent me out for chicken for dinner. I hope the butcher hasn't already closed. I'll come back later, Anna. Now, don't fret. Everything will be all right. Creatures company enough for you. Anna, I wish you could see what I have made for you. You see, I did give it a try. I tried to paint something ordinary real person. The trouble is, she turned out to be extraordinary.
and I'm just a sad and lonely man alone, just me. Without a clue, without a plan Why do I ache when I picture your face A beautiful face my mind can't erase I know there's a cure, I can see It's you that I'm new 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 that I'm Yes, Otto? Do you have any paper we may have? Paper? Now, what are you up to? We're going to build a nest. <laughs> and which of you is going to lay the egg? What do you have there, Otto? Hmm? Oh, um... Hmm. Sorcerer? Where did you get this? It was nailed to our door. And what do you have there, Gregor? It's mine. I found it under the table. May I see it? It's from the Brotherhood. It must be payment for my work. It is not. Payment is withheld. Why, this is several weeks old. I was to have appeared before the Brotherhood to explain the symbols in my painting or risk losing the commission. I am ruined. When did this arrive? I remember. It was weeks ago. I was in the middle of something. You're always in the middle of something. Yes. I'm always too busy to notice the people and things around me that I ought to care about. Now I've let them all slip away. My lovely Anna. The commission. I've lost everything. There's nothing left. You still have us, Master. Yes. yes. No! I've lost my sanity as well. I'm standing here talking to myself. You're talking to us. Don't you understand? You're not real! I've imagined every single one of you! How can you say that? How can you say that? Don't fret, little one. The, the Master's confused. Come now, let's go into the kitchen and make a snack. Hmm? Anna sees us. We must be real. I know. Why are we doing this? Haram has lost the commission. You got what you wanted. The rest doesn't matter. Of course it matters, cousin. Did you see the looks on the brothers' faces when I told them about the creatures? They thought I was some kind of lunatic. It did sound pretty strange. Don't start. I want Bosch out of the picture, and I want the girl. The girl? Never mind. Now keep watch, won't you? He can't go in there, can he? Huh? Who? Why didn't you stop him? Stop him? What do you expect me to do? I'm made of stone. I can't move. Well, I'm sure you could have fallen on him. Plenty of people have been hit by falling stones before. If I fall, I'll break, and they'll have to cart me away in a wheelbarrow. You'll never see me again. You have a heart of stone. I do, but I can't help it.
Whoa! Hello there. I... What sort of creature are you, my dear? A red giggleberry. A red giggleberry. I... Well, I've never seen any. How splendid. Uh, how splendid. Don't, don't be afraid. I'll just... If, mm, You're just the thing to prove my position. If you will come to the new inquisition, come with me, come, and I'll be your friend. I am the one you can trust with your hand. Go on, take my hand. I, I won't harm you. Just, if you would come this much closer. Now, if you're not sure to trust me, let me put your fears to rest. I'm a friend of your Aunt Anna. Anna sent me on this quest. You're just the thing to prove my position. If you will come to the new Inquisition, Come with me, come, and I'll be your friend. I am the one you can trust with your hand. You know Anna? Of course I know Anna. Anna sent for me? That's right. Just take my hand and I'll take you to her. But we have to hurry, quickly. <laughs> Right, you devil child! You demon from hell! Wait till the Brotherhood gets a look at you! Then maybe a nice toasty fire to keep you warm! <laughs> this way, hurry! <laughs> Hello! Hmm? What's the matter, Otto? I thought I heard something. Maybe you were just dreaming. Uh, perhaps so. <laughs> Hieronymus! Wait! Do you hear something now? Yes. Well, where'd it come from? It came from you. You were just talking to me, Otto. No, not that. Hieronymus! Listen. Look, the door is open. Hieronymus! Oh, my, what has happened? It's Sophie. Someone took Sophie. I fear it'll be the end of her. Why, that's what I'm here about. And look at my poor companion. He tried to save her, and now he's smashed to bits. He's stone cold dead, isn't he? Well, he certainly hit rock bottom. <laughs> you know, he was semi-precious to me. If only we had cemented our relationship. I wanted to, but talking to him was like talking to a wall. <laughs> Oh, you poor dear. Well, uh, I'll go get the wheelbarrow. Wait! What about Sophie? Right! Let's go wake the master. Hieronymus! 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 Anna, what a surprise to see you. Hieronymus, Sophie is in trouble. You've got to do something. I went out on a walk in the moonlight. You know how I love the moonlight. And I was thinking about us when I heard cries and moans coming toward me. So I hid in the bushes. Oh, and there were thorns. Just look at my dress. Ugh. There were two dark figures coming toward me. One of them was Erasmus, and he was dragging her away. Anna, slow down. I don't understand. Sophie is gone. Erasmus took her. He took her where? I don't know, but we've got to do something. Anna, get a hold of yourself. Sophie's not real. She's imaginary. Then use your imagination to save her. My imagination? No, you were right, Anna. My imagination only leads to trouble. It's a pointless thing to have. No, don't say that. Not now. Not when Sophie needs you. 
There's that mad artist I fell in love with. I want him back. Life is so plain without you. You can do this. Use your imagination to save Sophie. Close your eyes. It's no surprise you can do it with imagination. Remember you taught me that? If you wish to fly a fish, you can do it with imagination. What's wrong with him? It's no use, Miss Anna. He's been like this all day. <clears throat> Let's be tried. Master, you got to snap out of it! Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 that hurt! I was aiming for him, but you're such a big target, Otto. <gasps> yeah, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I, I do have one powerful imagination. It knocked me right off my feet. All right, I've had enough. If I'm going to be mad, I might as well enjoy it. Well, don't just sit there. Our dear little Sophie needs to be rescued. <gasps> then you do believe in us, Master. Yes, Otto, I believe in you. <gasps> now quick, get me my brush. I feel an inspiration coming on. Otto, bring me the brush. I want to make the hills come alive. Oh, this is going to be good. Damn creature, we're almost there. Soon you and your master Hieronymus will be finished. <laughs> ah! The gargoyles, this is the devil's work. Quickly, we'll go around back. Oh. Distract them, won't you? Distract who? I don't see anyone. The gargoyles! Where? Oh. There they are! Erasmus! Let go of her! Don't come any closer or I'll harm her, I warn you! Oh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you brought a paintbrush to a sword fight, boy! What? You'll find my brush is more powerful than your sword, Erasmus! <laughs> Strong enough for that! <laughs> this is what it was always going to come to. This was for you, Anna. Now be ready! Stop! What is the meaning of this? Father Albert, I told you I'd bring you proof, and now I have it there! There it is! This is your proof? Yes. Y yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, Sophie. Otto! <laughs> <laughs> Just a silly thing we do. <laughs> and Gregor, you should know that there haven't been any more rats in the cathedral thanks to you. Uh. Put those away before you hurt someone. Don't tell me you know these hideous creatures. Now, son, you mustn't speak unkindly of creatures who perhaps are not as blessed in their appearance as are you. Yes, I know them. I'm a, I'm a spiritual man, you know, and there are there's so much more to this universe than you or I can possibly imagine. I have been in the cathedral at night when the gargoyles thought they were alone and they have come down in order to frolic. Why, Sophie and her friends are frequent visitors with my gargoyles, aren't you? This can't be happening. It must be a nightmare. Somebody pinched me. He needs help, Father. He's delusional. He's been seeing things all night. Uh, you don't see them? Uh, of course not. We'll take care of him. Wait, what is it? No, no, wait, let go of me. He's the one you want. Hieronymus Bosch has fooled you all. Let go of me. You're all damned to hell. Brother Matt, tell me, do you see any creatures? Creatures? <laughs> Father, what do you take me for? Ah, uh, you've been nipping the communion wine, haven't you? Yes, that's it. <laughs> no, 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 let go of me. He's the one you want. Let go of me. No. I'm sorry, dear, that you had to go through that. You take care of yourself. And, oh, Hieronymus, the Brotherhood has decided to give you another chance at the painting. They realize that uh, obstacles were put in your way. Thank you, Father. Sophie, are you all right? I was so worried about you. You were? Of course, Sophie. How could you doubt it? I thought you didn't like me, and that's why you left. Oh, no, I do. I really missed you. I missed all of you. I will never leave again, I promise. <laughs> that is, if Hieronymus will have me back. You mean you still want me? I do. Remember those words, Anna. I shall ask you to repeat them. <laughs> well, Sophie, we must get you back home to bed. No people ate me up, Anna. I'm still alive. You are indeed, and I feel more alive than ever. Uh, how is that possible? You're either alive or you aren't. It's just a figure of speech. Even I knew that, Otto. Uh, you're my smart little pal. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you gonna hurt me? Aren't you feeling all right? Oh, <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> you have a tear in your eye. I'm just so happy we found Sophie. <laughs> Storm clouds may come, bold black with their thunder and gray. Won't you sing with me? I'm not concerned, I smile until it clears again. Yo ho, the sun comes out, the sky turns blue, this much is true. But if I may suggest, the rest, my dear, is up to you. My dear Anna, what are you doing roaming the streets at this hour? I'm reuniting with my future family. <laughs> Your future family? I don't understand. Hieronymus and I are back together, and we're getting married. Wonderful. <laughs> I have a surprise for you too, Anna. 
May I tell them, sweetie? The widow Bachman has agreed to marry me. Oh my goodness, Papa! Congratulations! <laughs> Storm clouds may come, bold black with their thunder and pain. I'm not concerned, I smile until it clears again. Yo ho, the sun comes out, the sky turns blue, this much is true. But if I may suggest, the rest, my dear, is up to you. <laughs> I have something for you, Otto. So you'll look nice for the wedding. What is it? It's called a tie. You put it in a knot like this and put it around your neck, just so. It looks like a noose. No. Oh. Is it a trick? Honest, it isn't. <gasps> oh, a comment on marriage then. Hmm? No. <laughs> um. Oh, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Will you please tie the knot for me, please? Shh. Don't ever say that. At least not around here. Say what? Will you tie the knot? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See what I mean? Now I have to marry her. Why do you have to? I'm a creature of my word. Ugh. Can we please hurry up? We're going to miss the entire wedding. Now, Otto, don't you start crying. Why not? Because the last time you really got going, you flooded the entire house and the chairs floated right out the door. I did not. You did too. I did not. You did too. I was there. I <gasps> saw it. No, you weren't. certainly did. Did you ever think a year ago that this would have happened? That you'd be married to me? <laughs> it was beyond my wildest imagination. 
And you, Anna, did you think you'd ever be married to me? I knew the first day I met you that I wanted to marry you. Really? On the very first day? Uh-huh. I think I knew on the first day, too, when I overheard you standing up to Erasmus. <laughs> oh, I have a gift for you. It is your portrait I made. Let me see, let me see. It's wonderful. Thank you, Hieronymus, for painting something ordinary. There's nothing ordinary about it. Because it is a painting by the great Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Anna, because it's a painting of you. Oh. <laughs> See, where are the creatures? This place is so quiet. Anna, it's our wedding night. I sent them all out. You know what? They're probably terrorizing the Grimm brothers, peeking in their window and making faces. <laughs> I bet the boys are hiding under their beds right now with their pillows over their heads. <laughs> about it. when you told me I had lost my marbles and I said I never had any? Yes. Well, I've been searching ever since. Now, I want you to tell me if any of these things are marbles. Uh, where'd you find all this? Under the stove. You found this under the stove? Mm-hmm. It's your chore to clean the kitchen. I you don't do a very good job. I sweep everything under the stove. <laughs> of course. All right, let's have a look. Is this a marble? No. Is this a marble? No. Is this a marble? 
an SMR book? Don't you know what some of these things are? Sure, this is a candlestick holder. Then why on earth are you showing it to me and asking me if it's a marble? I don't know. Oh. How about this? No, that's a box. Uh, marbles are round. Oh, like this? What do you think? Yeah, no, no. Okay. How about this? Again. Do you know what the word round means? Sure, it means later. How do you figure? I'll see you around. <laughs> no, 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 no. Round things have soft, smooth edges like, uh, like a ball. Like a ball. Oh, I have some balls. Okay, um, like this. Oh, yes! Yes, those are marbles. <laughs> These are marbles? Yes, yes. Oh, yippee! <laughs> oh! What is it now? Now I really have lost my marbles, Otto.
It's a funny feeling, like a thief is stealing. Because you took my heart, I have a tender spot right Good night. <laughs> 